I don't really give a damn. We shouldn't be losing to these guys. Arsenal had Haaland missing. And I'm still looking for him. I'm on Google right now. I might as well type in his name to try and find that guy. They had him wrapped like it was a pig in a blanket, bro. That's exactly what the situation was for the whole game. Saliba, Gabriel, whoever was defending, I didn't see man get a sniff. We was telling man about Yuri and Timbar. The guy can play anywhere. Little did I think of him playing as a left back. The guy plays as a left back against my team and damn near for them was one of their best players, bro. Man was there sending man to the shops. Left, right, left, right. <laughs> spinning man up, cuz. Man was spinning man up. Yuri and Timber was spinning man up from left back, bro. The guys are flipping left. The guy, the guys are centre back slash right back slash centre mid <laughs> slash left back. What the flip is this guy, bro? And you know what? His quality on the ball, I didn't expect it to be like that. Jesus Christ, bro. We already knew about Saliba. I'll be honest, the fight that they showed at the bits where they were dominating the game, because they were at some points dominating the game, Havertz should have scored twice, but we'll get on to that in a minute, yeah? It caught me by surprise. I didn't expect it. Yeah, I didn't expect it. It was like, let's say you're dozing off in your bed, you got your phone like this, yeah, you're about to sleep, and then you just drop your phone on your face. Drop the phone in your face. Bro, that's what it was. It caught me by surprise. I didn't see it coming still. The way that they were dominating. Now we can talk about Kai Havert. The very first chance that he squandered is understandable. The ball was behind him. He had to get in front of him and do all the finishing stuff all in that small amount of time that he had. So you can't really get mad at him missing the first chance that he had. But the second one where Saka gets in behind, yeah, that little little guy right there gets him behind lays it on a plate for him goes on his weak foot he should have just laced it man tried to side foot it i don't know what he was doing but i think i know what he's missing because if he puts those away because he gets into good positions clearly if he puts those away he could be a problem up front that could be the striker that they needed who knows you know what i'm saying but i think i know it will help him still get him some tang fastics get him bubbling Upon editing, I had realized I had made some very costly mistakes. So if you hear anything out of place, I can tell you now I had truly lost my mind. So please allow me. They have a lot of criticism for Trossard, but I saw him make some brilliant saves. So come on, man. But I think it's time I talk about my own team now. I think I've given Arsenal their flowers, you know. Declan Rice had a solid game, in my opinion. In terms of defensively, I think he was very solid defensively. Going forward, nothing special, but give him time, I believe he could fulfil that Granite Xhaka role going forward. Who knows? But let's talk about my team now, Manchester City, yeah? One thing that I needed to say and get off my chest straight away. I already spoke about Haaland, but we need to start, and I mean start, Foden, please. Because when he came on, it's what he did. As, what he did. In, did uh, oh, 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 oh. What he did in the Champions League final, yeah, was he came on the bench. Oh my God, came off the bench, and the pace that he brought into that midfield, it completely changed the game. And that's kind of what he did today. But if we start with that, I think it'll be a different story because Haaland, I, I feel like he was just in his own world today. No ball, no, he didn't get no service in it. I feel like we need a little link still. That's why I feel like we're missing Gundogan so much. Kovacic is amazing, by the way. I believe he's going to go far in this team. That guy, I feel like the way that he can pick up the ball and dribble through, it could be, it could be crucial one day still. Yeah, man. But, um, the player that I really wanted to talk about was Cole Palmer. Yeah, you know how many times, no, no, do you know the amount of times? I've signed this guy in Football Manager games, bro. Even in FIFA, I play on my own because I don't want no one to know I play that game. Listen, I've signed Cole Palmer many times, yeah. To see him come off the bench and do what he did, I believe that could be the new Riyad Mahrez replacement. And I'm not comparing him to Mahrez. I'm saying we don't need to go out and buy a right winger. I say we give him a chance. I say, you know what? He's done it against good opposition. I, you know what they beat? I say no more be humble in it because, yeah, man. But he's done it against good opposition. So let's just see what he can do in the Premier League. I feel like we should give him that opportunity to shine. And I feel like he can definitely do his thing. 
Defensively for Man City, I don't think we were too bad. The goal we conceded is similar to what Paul Pogba's been doing, similar to what Yaya Torre did to Pep. I'll be honest, that was just straight voodoo. However, that goal shouldn't take away from some of the performance from today. Both teams had their spells. And I can say in a way they kind of deserved it because of the chances that they've had. So I'm not going to be salty right now, even though I am on camera. I'm just going to be like, all right, cool. Well done. Take your W. You deserve it, guys. Give Arsenal some hope. Hopefully they can go and, and actually win something more meaningful than what they've already won. Because, you know, there's levels to this game. We've just lost another community shield. But you know what we're going to do in this league. So, yeah, match reactions come in every game for Manchester City this season. I'll see you at Burnley. Hey, we're going to... Hey, we better walk this league, you know. I didn't put on my shirt indoors for no reason. You know what I'm saying?